All right, so ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to our two fighters. We fight four by three minute rounds. We do it in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. He tipped the scales, 59.6 kilos. Originally from South Korea, he's now based out of Earlwood in Sydney. And tonight, he steps into the ring as a professional for the 42nd time. Give it up. This is John Jungstar Min. And his opponent standing across in the red corner. He weighed in officially 59.7 kilos. From Kabultar, he's trained down a spider's gym under the guidance of Luke Sheehan. He is a two-time Australian amateur champion and a four-time Queensland amateur champion. Tonight, he steps into the ring as a professional for the very first time. Brisbane, give it up. Make some noise. This is Connor Dippelsman. Boxing referee, bizarre. Referee, man in the middle. Here Mr. Philip Holloway. Dippelsman up against John Min for three minute rounds. Have a look at the stare off early on here. John Min trained out of Munster Boxing, the dungeon in the blue corner. He's in the red trucks. He is taking on Connor Dippelsman out of Spiders Gym, trained by Luke Sheehan in the black and white trucks, red corner. And here we go for three minute rounds. It's Min versus Dippelsman. Yeah, Connor is another having his pro debut tonight, but had the benefit of very extensive amateur background so he'd certainly know his way around the ring that's for sure he hasn't mucked around though throwing himself in with a 41 fight pro veteran in his first fight Jungstar Min has been in with everyone in Australia like I'm talking everyone I think he's uh his pro debut dates back to to July 2002 believe it or not so he's still fighting now which is remarkable wow Credit to John Min. There he is. Taking on Dippelsman. Connor, you can see he's got that amateur pedigree, like I said. Very, very effective. Very keeping his distance really well. Very compact. Not keeping his chin up in the air. And you can see getting his good shots off now. Oh, boy. Gee, Min. Almost in the way of that very harsh right thrown by Dibblesman there. And then just very tentative in his approach, at least for now. So they both exchange punches. Yeah, good left hook and a, and a right to the body there. Dibblesman looking very dangerous here, Nathan. Yeah, he is. He's investing in the head and the body, which is always good for a pro. There's a big right from Min, which doesn't connect. Oh, right hand there from Dippelsman. As Min calls him on, he's seen every punch in the book and he's seen it 400 times. And felt it 400 times the way he reacted. Probably a thousand times. W water off a duck's back. He almost taunts Dippelsman to throw another one. There's Min. Lead left hook. Once again there from Connor. Just trying to get his distance right before he throws his big right hand. And there's a good shot to the body once again from Connor Dippelsman. Yeah, staying very busy, lighting his feet, Dippelsman. Yeah, right hand once again. Oh, and doubling it up there. Shots to the body, shots to the head. Min facing his toughest battle in this round one in these final 15 seconds. Dippelsman's got to break free here. Otherwise, it'll be an easy way out of the round. He was on top, Dippelsman. And that does conclude the opening round. Plenty of support here for both fighters in this one. Boxing Bazaar 3 as we have a look at the round one highlights. Yeah, it was a really good round. And that man in the red corner, Connor Dippelsman, threw every punch in the book and landed every punch in the book. And you can see body shots, head shots, straight shots, bench shots. He had it all. Very polished performance so far. 
that man having his pro debut. Boxing Bazaar 3, proudly brought to you by Beirut Bazaar, Cycon Wealth, Gumdale Demolition, Specific Cuts Barbershop, Concrete Genie Punish Fight Gear, Mr. Mister, and King's Footlong German Sausages. When Nathan DiCarlo chooses to eat a sausage, he chooses King's Footlong German Sausages, don't you, Nathan? I usually stay off the sausages, mate. But, uh, <laughs> if I was, yes, that's where I'd eat one. So round number two, Min with a left jab to the body and then a big left, no look, and Dippelsman seizes the opportunity to send Min onto the ropes early on. Yeah, and you can see what he did there. Very effectively, he had his back to the ropes and he spins his opponent and puts his back to the ropes. What would you like to see from John Min here in the second, Nathan? Um, throw caution to the wind because he's not going to outbox this kid, that's for sure. That's very evident early on in the piece. So he's going to just, he's just going to cock that right hand and throw it and throw it hard. So just go for it like there's no tomorrow is the call. Here's Dippelsman again moving in on Min. Left there, making some contact from Dippelsman. Big oh. right misses. Yeah, he just misses there, Connor. He's wearing a few at the moment, Min, isn't he? Yeah, more than a few. He's just, he's, uh, the gloves are bouncing off his head so far. And his body, uh, he hasn't discriminated between the body and the head, Connor. And this is uh, very rare for a person on debut to do that. You can see he's got that great amateur pedigree. Good shot to the body. That one hurt him the most. You can see a big gasp of air there from Junkstar Min. Strong overhead left there by Dippelsman as he continues to pepper away up low, sorry, up high and down low as well. Loves that left hook. He throws everything behind it. Does Connor Dippelsman as he oh, sends his opponent to the canvas for the first time and he will apply the first count. Well, he's spending a bit of time on the canvas, isn't he, uh, John Min? Yeah, he's already starting to feel the pinch, and that's uh, a credit to Connor because only after two rounds he's feeling the pinch, and that's because he's been so active and so accurate with his shots. He's got great footwork, Dippelsman, doesn't he? Yeah, evading well. Great footwork. Min looking to keep his feet going, proving a challenge at this point in the fight for him. Oh boy. Huge left uppercut from Dibblesman, missed thankfully for Min. He's in a world of trouble here, Min. Referee steps in. It's all over. Min is not happy. Crowd on their feet. John Min is not a happy camper at the moment as Dippelsman celebrates. Yeah, with the referee's first job is to protect the fighter and he thought he was in a world of hurt. He was out of his depth. He was definitely out of his depth. I don't know if he was hurt because he's been in with so many, you know, unbelievable fighters and lasted the rounds throughout the years, but he was definitely out of his depth and it was going one way that fight and that's probably the way the referee saw it. So he took over and caught a halt to this contest. But it was a really, really polished performance by that that kid, Connor Dippelsman. Sensational performance. We talk about some of the people Junkstar Min's been in with. Here's a few. Jack Axis, Vegas Larfield, Blake Minto, Liam Paro, Luke Boyd, Yusuf Dib, Andrew Wallace, and the list goes on. That's a Queensland Boxing Hall of Fame right there. Yeah, <laughs> certainly is. All right, Connor Dippelsman out of Spiders Gym, trained by Luke Sheehan as we look to make this one official. Comprehensive performance by Dippelsman. Referee stopping the fight, John Min in his corner getting some attention as now we make this one official. Here's Joe All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, put your hands together for the two fighters. The time, 2.37 of round number two. Your winner by technical knockout with referee Phil Holiday calling a halt to the contest. Going to the red corner, Connor Dippelsman!